Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. What are you, what are you doing? I saw this Christmas tree, so I was decorating. It's not a Christmas tree. Well, what is it? It's, the, it's this unit we're on. This is the unit we're on right now. Which is? Chemistry. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Well, here, let's talk about chemistry, all right? Okay. Here we go. with we need to know what an atom is we've all heard that that word atom right so what does it mean what is an atom they're really really small i know that i know they're really small yeah they're teeny tiny can we see them if we were just to look around not, can, not even in a regular microscope you got to use an electron microscope and we don't have one i mean i don't have one you have one no no so they're really small yeah so we're going to use models to show us what the atoms look like even though it has a limitation because uh, it doesn't show all the details right right all right we're still going to use it. Okay, so the atom is the smallest unit of matter that keeps the properties for that element. And the element we're going to be looking at is carbon. Ta-da! The element of life. Oh, yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we see here, this whole thing would represent one atom of carbon. Okay. And what is in this atom? Well, I see this big thing in the middle here, mm -hmm. the nucleus, okay. and that's really where most of the atom is, is the, in the nucleus. Okay, so what are these little things floating around in here? Okay, well, we got two parts to a nucleus. The nucleus is, uh, like I said, most of the mass, it's got protons, with the plus sign, that's a hint, and neutrons, which don't have any real sign at all. They're yeah, just kind of neutral. neutral. Right, yeah. neutral, neutron. Mm -hmm. Proton, pro, like you're for something, or plus. So that's So these good. all live in the nucleus together. The protons right. and the nutrien, neutrons live in the nucleus together. They do. What are these things floating around on the outside that are smaller? Well, they're negative signs, so those are electrons. Okay. And there's a, an equal number of electrons as there are protons because they got to balance out. If you got six protons, you're going to have six um, electrons. So, because otherwise it would be either too much negative or too much oh, positive. So, so the negative and the positive have to be the same. Pretty much have to okay. equal out, right? If there's not, there's problems, which we don't want to talk about in this video. No problems in this video. Okay. Okay. So there's also there's okay, also um, an atomic mass. If we Look at that picture that you just took. Oh, sorry. When the protons and the neutrons in the nucleus, when you add those together, okay. they create the total mass for that element of carbon. Well, wait, but what about all these electrons? Don't they, don't, why aren't they included? Because in? they're not in here in the nucleus. Yeah, and they don't hardly weigh anything. Right. You, know, you know how they put on mass that... Point zero 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 uh, seven. Well, that's just the electrons. They don't have So this in is, if we add these up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, the mass of carbon would be 6 plus 6, so the mass would be 12. Okay, so protons plus neutrons is what the mass is mm -hmm. pretty much going to be. Yeah, and it's just talking about what's in here in right the in nucleus. There. Okay, what lives in the nucleus? What lives in the nucleus. Got it. Okay. Okay, so... So we got, so protons, electrons, Are the same and, number. and that's the atomic number. Okay, well, I guess we'll talk about that later. Yeah, what is the atomic number? Let's just look at this picture. Okay. Over here, we've all seen this before. Okay, so. Yeah, let's have those. Okay. So this is an element Q. And we would find that where? Uh, Periodic on table. the periodic table, right. Yeah, we're going to talk about So that. if we break this apart, we have lots of numbers and lots of things on this element cube, but it's really very simple. We've already talked about the atomic number. No, we didn't. We did. We did? We did, because the atomic number, yes. 6, is the same as the number of protons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the atomic number is the number of protons. number of protons is the same as the atomic number. Oh, right. I got it. So six protons, the atomic number six. Yes, perfect. Okay. Okay, so then in the middle of this element cube, with this big C, this C. is the symbol, and we know we're talking about carbon. When oh, we look it at says the it symbol, right there too. Yeah. And then the name is underneath it. 
Um, and then the last thing is this atomic mass. And we've already talked about the mass, didn't we, Mr. Kincaid? We did. And see, remember I was talking about that little, like, extra little bit? Those are all the electrons. That point zero one are all the electrons. And the but 12. All, the 12 is what's in the nucleus, the, the protons and the neutrons. Okay, so that's so the mass. The mass is the protons plus the neutrons. Oh, we might want to point out, sometimes the symbol name isn't the same. I mean, it's like like potassium is K. Yeah, they don't so always match. That's why they have the symbol name mm -hmm. and the symbol are sometimes different. We right. want to point that out. Right. Okay. And we would find all of these. Each element has its own cube. Oh, how convenient. It is very convenient. And they're all put together on the periodic table, which we'll talk about next time. Okay. Right? Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. So is that it? Until next time when we talk about the periodic table okay. and we have more chemistry. chemistry.